Hey, Jimmy, Kenny's looking for you. Is there a problem? Kenny wanted you in his office two hours ago. You're late. Sorry, Rita, I must have missed it. What's going on? I don't know. He just told me to tell you as soon as I saw you. Mm -hmm. Sounds yeah. serious. Okay. Have you seen that? Nope. Well, you can study up on your flight. I want you there ASAP. <laughs> That's hilarious. Jimmy, I'm serious. There's something going on there, and I want to know what it is. Hey, if you believe in it, that's fine, but don't waste my time. I have plenty of work to do right here. I'm not wasting your time. I'm giving you your next assignment. Now go talk to Edna in HR. She'll book you a flight. Ken, I'm not going to the middle of Look, Iowa. you work here, right? You're a reporter. Here's the story. Go write it. This isn't a story. This is a joke in the middle of nowhere. Now, I I've paid my dues with high school feel-good stories. I don't have to do that crap anymore. Jimmy, I feel like it would do you some good to write something positive for a change. I feel like you've forgotten why people love sports in the first place. I tell the stories that are happening. Ah, but not the good ones. You're a solid writer and people will read it if it comes from you. I'd like you to continue your work here. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Because I could have three other jobs by dinner time tonight if I leave here. Maybe. Maybe not. I hope we don't have to find out. I'm sorry, Ken, but this isn't right. It's the way it is, kid. My gut tells me this is worth our time. Go do a good piece. Make us both proud. Maybe. My name's Jimmy. There's a girls basketball team here I'd like to see. Oh yeah? Yeah. Why is that? I'm a writer. Do you read? I mean, <laughs> sports today, I write for them. Yeah, I know who you are. So you've seen my work? Not really. I see. So where can I find these girls? My uh, editor would like me to write something about them. Our girls in sports today. It's possible. I'd like to see what they're doing. It's 2.30, Teresa. I've got the counter. Thanks. Why? Why? You mean, why would anyone care about a story about girls' basketball? No. I mean, why you? I'm a writer. I cover sports. This is a sports story someone thinks should be written. But not you. I don't know yet. But... If there is a story here, I'm the one that'll find it. Good luck.
The girls practice at the roundhouse at four o'clock. Thank you. Um, what is a roundhouse? How you doing, honey? Good. I made you something to eat. It's in the oven. Good deal. Mm -hmm. oh, hey, you want to watch oh, that dumb show you like while we eat? Sorry, Dad. I got practice. I thought we talked about that. I'm not quitting, Dad. I want you to concentrate on grades. I know. And my grades are great. Call the school, they'll tell you. I don't like it, Laney. It'll be over soon. Don't slam that door. You'll be needing a room, I bet. Uh, I need the best room you got. I'll be here a while. Oh. Well then, you're at number 12. The green room. The green room? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's nice. It's very nice. Good, good. It's quiet, I hope. I'll be working. Oh, yeah. It's very quiet. Well, except for the highway. That's not quiet at all. But other than that, you could hear a pin drop. Well, except there are dogs around here, and sometimes they bark. Quite a bit, actually. But other than that, you could hear a mouse you scratch his bottom. It's, it's good. Thank you. I'll take it. Oh. All right. There you go. Enjoy the game. How did you know? It's that time of year. Why else would you be here? something you need? No. Actually, yeah. You know what? I uh, write for sports today. That right. Here in New Providence. What are the odds of that? <laughs> you have no idea. You want to step outside with me, please? Is there a problem? Not yet. Listen, coach. I told you I'm a writer for Sports Today magazine. Call him and ask. Assistant coach. Oh. I'll wait for the uh, real coach if you don't mind. Actually, I mind quite a lot. Hey, it's all right, Billy. Let's go, Amy. Time to work. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Ashley, you have to square up. Square up when you shoot. Gina, no. Gina, what are you doing out there? You can't hesitate with your pass. Your pass quick. <sighs> Julie, Julie, watch your left. Your left, your other left, that one. They must have been pretty pissed. I don't fall. Mr. Voss, you're almost as famous as the people you write about. Why are you here covering girls' high school basketball? I told you. Someone believes this might be a story worth sharing. You know, this team and these girls, they might not mean all that much to you or your magazine, but we don't really care. What I do care about is this. I will not allow you to come here and trivialize their effort or what this team means to this town. 
I understand your concern. I do. You're probably right. I don't see the story here. I don't see what all the fuss is about. But I'll be fair. I can promise you that. The fuss? Meaning you still play six on six. Not exactly cutting edge. This game you're teaching your girls, it's, it's dead. My girls are ball players. Then maybe they should play basketball instead of this? No offense, but who wants to watch this? Be here tomorrow night at six and you will find out. Congratulations. Thanks. The one girl. Lainey Mitchell. She is good. So, what did you think of the game? It was, uh, interesting. You keep watching, Mr. Voss. You might come to really appreciate what's happening here. You know, it's a big world. There's a lot of big things happening. I don't dislike what you have here. I just don't know if it's national newsworthy. You were in here tonight. You saw the crowd. I did. Then maybe our game isn't the problem, Mr. Voss. Maybe our game isn't the problem, Mr. Voss. Yeah. Hello! Hi, the heater in my room is broken. I've lost all feeling in my appendages. Hello! Hello? What? No, dog? Why, why would I have seen the dog? Hey, listen, there is almost no heat in my room. Yeah, yeah, so can I switch? So all the rooms are this cold. But it's freezing in here. But, hello? Hello? Henry Logan, Des Moines Register. Good newspaper. It is. Thank you. Okay, I realize I just totally took credit for the entire editorial excellence of the Des Moines Register. I'm a stringer. So I started. It's a good gig. 
Who do you write for? Sports Today. Sports Today. You're Jimmy Voss. Man, I read that article about Barry Bolden. That man wants to kill you. I think he'd settle to beating me within an inch of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. She's just crazy good. It's like watching the cat. She works at it though. She's not a natural. Got a lot of li lot to live up to. Her mom averaged 29 points a game. Her mom? Yeah, but she passed away a few years ago. Her grandma was good too. She's from over in Cloutier. They had a powerhouse of a team in the 1940s. The 1940s? You're kidding, right? I could be wrong. But... No, I'm right. It was 29. That was for all four years, though. She averaged 34 when she was a senior. Carry all that around with you? It settles a lot of arguments. Did you call somebody the cat? Sure, yeah. She was a local legend around here years ago. She in that book? She is the book. Doesn't anyone dribble in this game? Yeah, sort of. Two dribbles and you have to pass or shoot. Seriously? Yeah, three on defense, three on offense, guards and forwards. So if you're a guard, you don't have to be able to shoot and you don't have to be able to dribble. So what's the point in playing the game? My cousin Jane couldn't dribble to save her life. And she couldn't hit a shot she was standing under a four foot basket. But that kid, man, she had the quickest hands. So she played guard. She led the team in steals all four years. Man, sports today. You, you think you might be able to put in a good word for me? Uh, let me see what I can do. Man, you're the best. Rita, I know he's there. The man hasn't taken vacation since 1983. Now put him through, please. Thank you. You got your food already? We haven't even ordered yet. They know what I like. Well, what if you wanted something different today? People don't eat here for the food, Jimmy. They know who I am. That's why I come here. Can I get you something? Uh, yeah, I'll uh, have two eggs over easy, uh, bacon fried to a crisp, very important. Uh, wheat toast, not white. Coffee, cream, no sugar, and no powder. Real cream. Ken, 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 talk to me. Hey, look, I have tried, but there is nothing here. You gotta let me come home. Hey, hey, this, this is my career we're talking about. Oh, don't, don't, don't lecture me, Ken. Okay, hey, hey, it's me. I'm not some stringer. Hey, you're deliberately killing my career. <sighs> well, my career is gonna be over. When God closes a door, he opens a window. What? My grandma used to say it. It's inspirational. It's burglary. Hello, young man. Sir? I hear you're here to put our little town on the map. We're thrilled to have you. Fingers crossed, sir. If there's anything we can do at all? It is freezing in here. I actually think it's warmer outside. I'm not dead yet. Um, I'll be quick. I heard about what happened at the cafe. Mm. So why are you here? A while back, 
the state was sued by a few girls for the right to play five on five basketball instead of six on six, and they won. This is the last season for six on six. After this, it's uh, done. Good. Good. Why good? Because now your girls can play a real sport. <laughs> you mean five on five, like the boys? For what? A career in basketball? There's no NBA for women. They're not preparing for the big time. There is no big time for them. There is only this time. And in the name of fairness and progress, the state's about to take it all away from them. It is, it is not right. Sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry too. I wish I shared your enthusiasm, but I just don't get it. Enthusiasm? I think it's ridiculous. Enthusiasm? It's more than that. How can it be more than that? Because it is to us. Hey, look, we both have problems, okay? I got no place else to go. If I go back to New York, I'll be... Irrelevant? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to our world, Jimmy. Oh. So that's why you're here. You think that if I write a positive story, it'll save six on six? You cannot save it, Jimmy. Then why? Because we are letting something very special die at the end of the season, and it deserves to be remembered. Why? Why does this matter so much to you? This whole town? I, I just don't get it. Our grandmas played this game. Our mothers played this game. We don't have Broadway or the Empire State Building or the Yankees. In this town, we have each other. We have the community. And at the very heart of it all, those girls playing this game is the foundation. You know, there's nothing I can do to save it. I am not asking you to save it. Help us preserve the legacy and tell our story. Please stay. Can't stay here or I'll freeze to death. Well, what if I could offer you something better? It's what again? Jimmy. Ah, right, okay. The apartment above the garage. It's still workable, isn't it? Yes, it is, but it comes with a cost. I have an expense account. Not money. I'm moving from the farm this spring, and I have arthritis. I could use some help moving boxes and furniture from time to time. I won't charge you rent or utilities. Sound good? As long as it's got heat, I'm in. Mm. <laughs> Not exactly a loft in Greenwich Village, is it? Oh, it's uh, it's perfect, actually. Thank you. No, Teresa's the one to thank. So, just, you know, haul your stuff in then, and um, I'll see you in the morning. I really, really do thank you. <laughs> Don't thank me until you've seen all the boxes I have for you to move. <laughs> I think, uh, maybe she likes me, huh? Maybe. Fair warning, though. She does neuter the dog she likes, so. I'll, uh, keep my legs crossed. <laughs> Are you going to the game tomorrow night? What else is there to do here? Well, I hope you like it. The apartment. I mean, I hope you like it. You left the hotel. I did.
All right, what am I missing here, huh? It's a regular season game. These people are cheering like the NBA championships on the line. They're not here for the game, Jimmy. It's almost 11 p.m. Where you been? We won the game. So afterwards, a few of the girls and I went to the cafe to get some burgers and shakes to celebrate. You didn't call me. I've been worried sick all night. I, well, I didn't want to wake you up. This is exactly the kind of thing I knew would happen. I'm not playing anymore. You're grounded. What do you mean? I didn't do anything wrong. You didn't come home! Scared me half to death and roll in here after being God knows where, God knows what. I just told you exactly what I was doing. Don't you sass me, Laney. You tell that coach, tomorrow, you're done. That's it. You want to ground me? Fine. But I'm not quitting and you can't make it. Laney, I forbid you to take a step into the gym. Don't you dare test me. <laughs> Here we go. I didn't order this. Coffee cream, no sugar, no powder, or real cream, right? Right. Your food's coming. There he is. Good morning, sir. How's the story coming along? I can't wait to read it. Slow but steady. Now, if you need me for pictures, with the girls, please let me know. Of course, sir. I gotta get something off my chest. And the way you acted last night, it upset me, but what hurt me was thinking I can't trust you. I didn't lie. Don't interrupt me. I, I believe you. I, I trust you. You're a good girl. Mom saw to that, but... You're done playing ball. Dad. No, stop it. I'll let you play one last game, but tell that coach you're done after that. Laney, Laney. So the other night, Henry told me people don't come here for the game? Yeah, so. So why do they come? 
They come to support the girls, Jimmy. No. No, that's not it. I've been to high school games over the years. They're definitely not here for the girls. And apparently they're not here for the game either. So why do they come? They come because it's New Providence. They come, they come because it's home. They believe in it and it's the right thing to do. They believe in it? That makes no sense. Why are you here? There's no practice today. I'd like to interview the cat. The cat's gone. Dead? No, not dead, just not here anymore. What does that mean? It's just, look, it's just not an option, okay? Let it go. Jimmy, tell me about the cat. You, uh, you live here alone? My mother's in the basement. I'm not Norman Bates. The basement's where her bedroom is. I have an apartment in Des Moines but I live back home during basketball season. You spend the whole winter here? Where else should I be? The cat, here. Cat Halliday scores 103 as New Providence crushes Jewel. 103? She broke 104 times. Oh my God, didn't the other team show up? The other team was a state champ the year before. From 1966? That was her first 100 point game. The other three were her senior year, 1967. Rumor had it she tried out for an NBA team that summer. Rumor had it? Well, Kat didn't brag. She didn't have to. Apparently, she disappeared for a couple of months after graduation, and then suddenly she was back. Never told anybody where she went, but one of her friends told everybody that she got invited to try out for a West Coast NBA team. Henry, I'm impressed and a little disturbed by your detailed book here, but I don't believe that. Like I said, it's a rumor. Believe what you want. Can I talk to her? Who, the cat? Yeah, Cat Halliday. Did she leave New Providence after high school or stay? No. Listen, uh, we're gonna wake up mom. You should, you should probably go. Did I say something wrong? No. Why is everyone avoiding my question? I answered your question. Really? Really. She got married, that's all I remember. Moved out of town just like every other kid in New Providence. Teresa didn't. Trees is different. How so? I don't know, man. You're the reporter. Figure it out. You're a very bad liar, Henry. Yes, I know. Good night. Yeah, it's uh, 6.30. Got a late start this morning. A late start. Junior, don't leave until I give you that check. Yeah, well, it'll be an hour before I go to town. I am gonna need some of that coffee yours, though, in the meantime. You are late. You don't deserve my coffee. <laughs> it's the best cup of coffee in Iowa. So, uh, you're probably that writer guy I've heard about. Jimmy Voss. Yeah. Sports today. A fan? I hate sports. It's a waste of time. Sorry you feel that way. I know what you're right about, too. Every story has got an ugly side, and you find it every time, don't you? Is that what I do? Isn't it? Neither of you deserve this. 
<laughs> Thank you. Mmm. Thank God, that is good. I told you. <clears throat> what do you put in it? Well, as they say, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. Well, you have to stand in line on that one. <laughs> oh, Laney called. She said you don't need to pick her up. She's got a ride to work. Good deal. Laney? Yeah. Laney Mitchell? It's my daughter. Well, I'm going to go inside. You guys can stand around if you want. But you only get one cup of coffee until you actually get something done. She's a peach, isn't she? <laughs> you work for her? No. Yeah, worked for her husband for many years. But since he passed, she'll probably be selling the place. To you? No. Price isn't in my league, I imagine. You must uh, must be pretty proud of your daughter, Mr. Mitchell. I am. Not for the reasons you think. No? She's kind of a local celebrity around here, isn't she? A superstar? Well, it's a little bit like saying you deserve an award because your car has the most rust on it. <laughs> Who cares? This town don't deserve my daughter. They ain't, ain't done nothing for her. So. She seems to like it. Well, some people don't know what's best for them. They need guidance. Maybe I should work on that. You have a good morning. Yeah, you too. Mr. Big Shot. Laney? Do you need help finding something? No. I was looking for you. Do you have a minute to talk? About what? Basketball, of course. How important to you is it? Well, I have fun. Yeah, I bet. Tell me, what's it like when you walk out on that court and you know no one can stop you? I don't know. I guess I feel lucky. Oh, but that's not luck. You work very hard, don't you? Well, yeah. You know, when the season's over, this game for the girls is over, too. How does that make you feel? How would you feel if it happened to you? I don't think I'd like it very much. Why not? <laughs> okay, now I'm the one asking the questions, not the other way around. I told you. I feel lucky. People are happy when I play, and that makes me proud. But I'm also sad. I'm sad for this town, I'm sad for Coach Teresa, but I'm mostly sad for the girls who will never get their chance to play. They'll never know what it's like to be a part of something so important. One more question. Do you think you'll make it to regionals? Does it really matter? I'm sorry for making you do this tonight, but I like to get things done. Watch where you're going. All I see is box. You're doing fine. You've landed. Set him down and relax. What is in these? I have no idea. I forgot to label the first 20 boxes or so. Oh, rest, rest. No, no, I got it. Okay. Where do you want to follow me then? Uh, uh, Patricia. Hello. My husband's brother, Frank, moved these other boxes for me. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Frank for quite a while. Good Lord, I hope he's not buried in here somewhere. How long has your husband been gone? Two years. Sorry for your loss. You moving into town? No, I think maybe I want to see more of the world. California? Des Moines. Okay, next stop is the long dresser in my bedroom. Do you have gloves? That's heavy. Some driving gloves in my room. I'll go get them. No, no. You go on up to the bedroom and check out that beast, and I'll go get your gloves. Don't try and lift it by yourself. That's what killed my husband. She 
wasn't joking, Roy. Is this journalism to you? Hey, that is a private document. Oh, until you publish it in Sports Today for the whole world to read. That's a first draft. I write multiple drafts. Oh, are they all as entertaining as this? Give it to me, please. I was sent here to write a story. This is not a story! This is personal, isn't it? Why, why do you hate us so much? I don't hate you. Oh, get out. Get out. What? I don't want to see you. Get out of my house. Get out! the girl on Laney? That's Dana Fredericks. She's great garbage, fouls out all the time. It's okay, it's my husband. When you look at your opponent today, do you think they're better than you? This is a winnable game, ladies. Wake up! I can't do it by myself. Shut up, lady! I need help. Stop! Right now! You will not turn on each other. Lady, look around. Okay, everyone is tired. We all work together on this team. Do you understand? If that were true, we'd be winning. Like the Red Sox against the Yankees. More like the Allies and the Nazis. Killing her out there. It's what they do to her every time. Why don't I want you playing this dumb game? I'm fine. I hope this ain't serious. I'm gonna have all your jobs. That's it. We're done. I just wanted to get them to regionals one more time. I'm sorry. I played so many games in this building. Look at it. It's perfect. It shouldn't end this way. Teresa, I know how much it hurts to lose something you love. But this is just a game. It had to end sometime. God, Jimmy, you don't get it all, do you? What in your life happened to make you so blind?
Come on, Junior. Jimmy Voss, you are a hard man to find. What can I do for you, Mr. Frazier? I represent GSN, Global Sports Network. We are the fastest growing sports broadcast network today. You know our rival, huh? everybody does. The difference between them and us is we're a little more edgy. We are not your father's sports network. See, we want to get in the trenches. We want the dirt. Jimmy, we want you. I don't understand. I'm a, I'm a writer. Print? Yeah, physical copies of newspapers, books, and magazines have been on the decline for years. Nobody wants to read. But it doesn't mean they don't want the story. And we love your work. And we want to nurture it. We feel what happened to you from your current employer was unjust. We will always stand beside you, Jimmy, but we're thinking bigger picture. Again, I'm... I'm just confused. I'm a writer. You're a cable network. Oh, silly me. I have not yet fully explained my proposition. In addition to your articles, we want you to be on a show. You want to interview me? Not exactly. No. We want you to host your own show, The Real Deal with Jimmy Voss. It has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? I have my own show? Yeah. But I don't know anything about television. No, oh, that's my job. You get the stories, I'll take care of the rest. I don't, I don't know what to say. Before Mr. you answer, Frazier. know this. The network is prepared to triple your current salary. If you're renewed, which we both know you will be, you'll negotiate. But I promise you, it will not be hard. Why me? Because, Jimmy, you have something that's hard to find in this business, a nose for the news. We want the dirt your current employer is afraid to expose. Here, call me when you decide, but uh, make it quick. I'd like to get you back into civilization soon. It's too cold here. Where's the job? Los Angeles. Oh, it's beautiful. You'll love it. I, uh, I have a story to finish here. Mm -hmm. I need a little time. Do yourself a favor. Don't use a thimble to scoop water from a ship that is sinking or you'll go down with it. There's a ticket waiting for you at the airport in Des Moines. 6 a.m. Two days from now. This is your shot. Don't miss it. This is a closed practice. You should know that by now. Teresa, please. Billy, get back there now. Just go. Get out of here now. We have a lot of work to do. I know. I know. Okay, I'm sorry if it'll be four, but I need to talk to you for a minute. Not now. Can you just listen to me for a second? Get to work now. Let's go. Spit it out. What do you want? Where's Laney? My guess home. So what? So you win this next game, you move on to regionals, right? <laughs> Don't rub it in, Jimmy. I'm not rubbing it in. Lainey is faking her injury to appease her father. You are something else. Get out of Will here! You listen to me? I saw her this morning at your mom's farm. She was practicing. Her leg's fine. Why would she make that up? Because her father's a mean drunk. Trust me, I know the signs. Well, even if what you're saying is true, she's not going to come back. I might be able to convince her. Keep coaching the girls. I'll see what I can do. Hey. Why are you doing this? Why now? It's like everyone around here keeps telling me. It's the right thing to do. Hey. Little Miss, why don't you bring Daddy another beer, would you? Huh? 
Thanks, man. Come in. Good evening, sir. What do you need? Sports Today has authorized a small payment in exchange for your daughter's exclusive interview. How much? $500. Uh, well, we give you 10 minutes. But... Not you. Just her. That's the deal. Hit the showers, wash the day off. You be gone when I'm done. Put the money on the table. I don't really have anything to say. That's okay, I'll do the talking. I know what's going on here, and I know why you're doing it. What do you mean? Your leg is fine. I saw you practicing this morning at Patricia's farm. Now, I, I, I'm not trying to embarrass you or upset you, but I hope that I can convince you to do something that I never had the courage to do and I've regretted it my whole life. I'm not gonna play. Laney, if you don't play, you're never gonna forgive yourself. Why don't you shut up? You don't know me. You come here and start messing with people and then you'll go back to where you came from. I can't just leave. I know why you're doing this. Your dad. He needs me. Your, your team needs you. Your coach needs you, your town. They need you. And your dad, he just wants to keep you down with him. But you're special and he knows that. And he's just scared to lose you. I don't care. That's my dad, and he needs me. I have to take care of him. Listen to me, Lainey. I hate to say this, but you have a real shot. You can get a scholarship, go to school somewhere, and you might be able to get out of here. Now, he's made his choice. You need to make yours. I have. What's going on in here? He's leaving, Dad. Sit down, I'll fix you something to eat. Well, Lainey, why don't you go to your room for a minute? You think what you're doing to her is fair? Yeah. Well, around here, fair is in August. Life isn't fair. Life's downright hard. There's no time for games, especially ones that don't get you anywhere. I'm gonna tell everyone what you've done to her. Well, yeah, I, I may not be the most liked man in New Providence, but I can sleep easy knowing they'll trust me more than an arrogant big city has been. Now why don't you get out of my house? You know what, you're right. That's exactly what I am. I'm not much good to anybody, but I'm begging you, sir, to let her play. She deserves a chance to see what she can do. You have no right and no business here. We can get along before we have a problem. That's Millie Hamilton. She led the team in scoring in 1971. And Joy Baker. She set a school record for steals, 1983. It's crazy, isn't it? Christina Lang. She graduated three years ago, all state. It's like my book has come to life. Just enjoy the moment, Henry. What happened? 
I went and talked to Junior and Laney. How'd it go? Not good. I'm sorry. It's okay. I, uh... I do have some other news. What's that? I got a, uh... Job offer in Los Angeles. I leave tomorrow morning. So you'll miss the game? I'm afraid so. <laughs> I've gotten kind of used to you being in the bleachers the last few weeks. Maybe I'll uh, come visit sometime. I won't pat on it. Never know. I need a beast of burden. Would an ass do? Nicely. I hear you're leaving us. I'm afraid so. Don't worry about my article though. I won't be turning it in. Sorry I yelled at you. Sorry I hurt your feelings. Mm -hmm. When Roy built this house, I told him I wanted a closet I could walk around in. Unfortunately, the only way I could walk around in that closet is if I took all the clothes out of it. <laughs> At least he tried. Ah, oh, he was very good to me. Very good. I'm sure he was. Mm. You want the rest of the boxes out there, or you have more packing to do? No. Since you're leaving, if you can get as many of these as you can downstairs, and then I'll see. You got it. What are you doing? Your cat Halliday. That is personal to me. You had no right. They say you're a legend. I'm an old widow. Why does everyone keep your secret for you? Because they're nice people. They respect my wishes. What wishes? When did you become the cat? Oh, who cares? I care. Please tell me, when did it happen? <laughs> I was tall for my age. I loved playing basketball. I wanted to play defense, but... Um, but the coaches wanted you to and score. And I worked. They were depending on me to score, so I made sure no one was going to score more than me. At the hoops, night and day. At the gym, at the driveway, everywhere. Always shooting. Anyway, um, a writer uh, who was covering a game for another little town wrote that I moved like a cat. The word got around and... The cat was born. The cat was born. You meant a lot to these people. Basketball meant a lot to me. The more I played it, the more I loved it. And I would hit a shot. 
that little gym would just erupt. And that meant the world to me. So why do you hide from that now? <sighs> because it's not my time. Lenny and those girls, they deserve to have their time just like I had mine. And now I get it. You know, I haven't, I haven't been in that gym in oh my God, 40 years. Oh, my God. Oh. Not even when Teresa played? Not even now when she's coaching? <clears throat> I can't. Teresa could really use you now. Teresa has done very well on her own. Does she know the story? Oh, yeah, she does. So you won't go? Not even to the last home game? No. You know, the cat gave people a lot of hope. The cat was real. Yes, these people, the cat was a hero. And they could use a hero right now. I'm tired. Tell you what, forget about the boxes. I'll have Junior help me in a few days. I know about the cat. She told me everything. So she told you? She didn't want to, but she couldn't avoid it. That's why you coach? For her? I'm keeping her place until she comes back. We're running out of time. I know. I just want you to know that, uh, I get it now. You think so? I know I do. Sorry it took so long, but it really is special. Yeah. Just wish I could have seen it sooner. <laughs> Take care, okay? Does your dad know you're here? No, coach. I snuck out my bedroom window. Can I suit up? Yes. I'm sorry I was mean, coach. 
I think you better save that for them, okay? Go warm up. You got this. Make it count. This is where they need Lainey. They need that momentum now. She'll figure it out. I still love you. Win this one for your dad, okay? No. This one. This is for you. All right, listen up, ladies. This is important, okay? I want you to take a moment. Soak this up. You are living in a moment that will stay with you for the rest of your lives. Look at each other. You will know each other for the rest of of your lives, okay? It doesn't matter if we win or lose tonight. I want you to know all of this. This is for you, okay? I want you to know this is your night. Let's bring it in. New go. Providence on three, let's go. One, two, three. New New Providence. Providence. To shoot. We're putting in 10. Laney, you got this. Let's go. Number 10.
How much did you see? Enough to know you're a brilliant coach. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I thought you were leaving. I miss all the excitement. Come on. So that's why you're really here? Because I know it's not for the love of the game. Oh, it's love, all right. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm afraid I just can't go on living without Patricia's delicious coffee in my life. Huh. Well, now you have to stay. Actually, the story's done. Your mom wrote the perfect ending. The cat returns. Then you're leaving? I have the story I came here for. But none of that matters without you. Jimmy Boss, you better kiss me. You got it, coach.